Yo, I'm Dosh, and I'm going to be teaching you guys about drones today. All jokes aside, let's get me. So this is a drone. It has four rotors, which means it's a quadcopter. Quadcopters can be expensive, hard to assemble, like this one needed a soldering iron, and fragile. For a beginner, fragility is the worst. You're going to crash a lot. So we've developed uh, a software suite to help you fly a drone virtually in software. So you can crash as much as you want. Now, let's get flying. So now we're going to talk about the software. Uh, you can program it in an environment called Snap, made by Berkeley, and it's simple. It's as simple as a drag and drop environment. We made it so that you can crash a lot, and you can just simply restart the simulation. first exercise is very easy. All we do is add a thrust block to make the drone start flying up, a hold altitude block to make the drone stop flying up and hold its current altitude, a go forward block to make the drone move forward. After five time units, we add a go backward block, which allows the drone to stop moving forward, and then a position hold, which allows the drone to stop completely. So now I'm going to show you exactly what the drone does in the simulation. As you can see, the simulation has now started. The drone flies up, holds altitude, and then pitches forward so the drone moves forward. The drone is now flying forward, and it pitches back to cancel out its forward momentum, and hold its position. Now we're going to go for a more complicated course, the maze. In this, we start the simulation, the quad rises up, holds its altitude, moves to the right to center it in the maze, hold its altitude again, begins to move forward, holds its position so it can stop moving, moves to the right once more, get around the corner. Last, again, we go left. And then we set down the quadcopter at the end. That's it.